Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have a new face on Greater Brockton. Linda Mill, welcome, Linda. Thank you very much, Mark. Thanks for coming here. Linda is in, in charge of the Family Self-Sufficiency Program at the Brockton Housing Authority, the largest Land landlord in Brockton, okay, public housing. Correct. And you have an interesting event coming up on April 5th, the uh, Community Resource Fair, did I get it right? Yes. Okay, tell us about it. What are you trying to accomplish with that? Well, fa well, Brockton Housing runs a family self-sufficiency program, and it is a way to help participants move above and beyond Brockton. So we'd like to try to bring in different community resources. And so every month we're going to aim for the first Wednesday to have a community resource fair. And um, this month we're going to have several community partners coming out to kind of present their services and have... Um, one of the services that are available is American Credit Counseling Services, uh, where you can get your credit report. Um, they'll actually pull it right there if um, you want to participate in their program and help you review your credit report. So that's a good opportunity for families and public housing in our community to actually come out and get free resources. and. Um, and what, what's the time of the event? When, it's going to be from 5 to 7. So two hours. Mm -hmm. So do you bring a different vendor each time? We're going to try to mix it up every month and okay. try to have different resources. We're also going to have Massasoit admissions there um, on April 5th, as mm -hmm. well as Massachusetts Public Health. Um, in the future, they're going to be turning in all the public developments into non-smoking, so it's a good way to get resources and try to find out about um, different non-smoking programs that are available. Oh, that's going to be an interesting one. Um, when yes, we went non-smoking at Massasoit, I teach there, uh, we had some very unhappy students. They did some <laughs> non-smoking areas, but you had to like walk out to the parking lot basically to do non-smoking. And I had a student who... Uh, decided to speak up for smokers' rights. <laughs> okay, he wasn't he wasn't popular. Well, because you'd walk in the doors, you'd walk in the entrances, and people would blow smoke in your face. Mm. You know, I believe smokers have rights, but I also believe I have rights not to breathe the smoke. So yeah. <laughs> good, good for you. I, I applaud you for doing that. I mean, that's common now in restaurants. Airplane. I, I remember non-smoking sections back yeah. in the day when... You, you inhaled more secondhand smoke oh, than anything else. So... Um, so you're going to do this at... It's yeah. 53 Plymouth Street. Okay, it, it was just Crescent Court, right? Which is Crescent Court. It's right in the community center. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's across the street uh, from, from the Plymouth School. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a nice community center. It is. Okay, and it is for the residents of that complex? It's actually going to be for anybody who's on Section 8 or public housing in Brockton. Okay, uh, so it's welcome. open to the community that participates? Correct. Okay. They're welcome to bring a friend along if they wish. Um, we just want to um, make sure that they know services are available and um, we'll actually have uh, trying to present housing one-on-one. -on -one. So our family self-sufficiency program promotes um, education. We try to help them with employment. We try to help with um, transportation, different resources that may become barriers to moving forward. Uh, and so by us bringing the services in, maybe it'll be more convenient location for everyone to participate on a monthly basis. And obviously with the name Family Self-Sufficiency, you're looking for people to be self-sufficient. You're, you're giving them the tools, you're giving them the toolbox, right? basically, so right. they can... So they can do it. Now, have, has this been done in the, in the past? Is this new? We just recently started it. Last month was our first month, mm -hmm. and this will be our second month. Um, we had uh, several people uh, attend last month, but we want to make sure that the community knows that it's available. Um, so we do outreach. We let them know on a family self-sufficiency um, Facebook page. We've sent out uh, mailings, just kind of letting people know that the resources are going to be there. And um, so we're hoping for more participation. I saw yellow flyers, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, we and had this, yellow, yeah, yellow. And, and this whole last thing. Last week was yellow. Yeah. We went door to door and delivered them in yeah. the community. Which is, which is a little cold, but yeah. that's okay. <laughs> I saw Cynthia McDonough in her car with a whole stack of them. She 
she was coming in my parking lot here and um, going to a meeting and she said, can I park here? I'm like, of course you can park here, but um, she had the flyers and that's how this whole idea came up to bring you guys into TV to, to talk about it because, uh, you know, I would hope a lot of people in the housing authority have cable and they have the local channels mm -hmm. um, because the local channels are on what I call the affordable tier, not, not the tier that you have to buy everything yeah. that they have for, happen to sell. And uh, we'll give you uh, this for your Facebook page so you can put it up and promote oh. it as well. We'll give you the link. That'll be great. We, we have a YouTube Brockton channels, the Brockton channels, because we have three of them. So this goes on channel nine and channel 12. Okay. It'll get out there to, to people before the event. So um, you're looking for more participation. There were right. people there last month, but you want to double it or triple it or quadruple it. What's Correct. the capacity? How many people um, do you think you're going to have? In we can have about 120 people in okay. the community center. It's a pretty large room, um, and we'll have uh, different people um, there in different sections. You know, of course, the credit counselor will have a small office where she can have some privacy and talk to a person one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. and just give them some advice going forward, um, depending on what their situation is. So, Because um, you're trying to build, like with the credit, you're trying to build credit while you're there because, uh, you know, there, there's different fees and sliding scales and stuff for people with so housing. Our yeah, so our family self-sufficiency... Um, when people live on housing, they normally pay 30% of their gross income. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our family self-sufficiency program is a program. It's We all have open enrollment all year long, but we offer it to anybody in public housing or our federal, um, sorry, our federal public housing and mm. our Section 8 participants. So if you've issued, if they've received a voucher from Brockton or Milton, um, they are able to participate in our program. So our program offers them a way to set uh, goals and so we can make a five-year plan and see what steps they need to progress. Sometimes they join our program to um, because they're interested in home ownership. So it's a way to kind of start, okay, so where are you now? Let's see what you need to do to get yourself prepared. And most of the time they really do need to look at their credit. This is really three things you need for home ownership. A good, good income, a down payment, and good credit. Mm -hmm. So those are the three things that you need. So we welcome them to come in and find out and explore their options. And a family self surgery will be there as well to give them more information about the program if they're interested in joining. It is, it is open to anybody in federal public housing and Section 8. So. Well, that's great. It's open to everybody. Believe it or not, you're not going to believe it. We're almost out of time. So okay. um, we'll just review. It's um, it's it's a family. It's community resource fair. It is April fifth, yeah. five to seven, at fifty three Pleasant Street. Plymouth Street. Plymouth Street. Right. I'm thinking Crescent Court, mm -hmm. Crescent Street. <laughs> sorry. Um, and you want participation. So yes. is there a phone number? to call if anybody has any questions. They can call they can call our office. My number is 508 yeah. 583 6324 and I'll be happy to answer any questions they may have. Um, and I hope to see a lot of people there. Thanks Linda. Appreciate yeah. it. Glad Thank to you. help. Thank you for having us. Glad you're here. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people and faces right here in the City of Champion.